Welcome to this steagle.com video how to of how to use the Google Sites file cabinet page. We'll briefly introduce this page and show you how you can use it to best effect. First of all, let's have a look how we create a file cabinet page. Pop over to our Google site and we'll then make a new page. We'll call it a file cabinet for now. And we need to choose to use the file cabinet template. Then use the create button and Google Sites will create the file cabinet for you. The file cabinet provides various tools. We can add files from our own hard drive. We can add links to things on the web. We can add files from Google Drive which will add a link to the page to the Google Drive item. And then we can move to folders, delete the items and also subscribe to any page changes. Let's show you how to add a single file. Use the add file button and you'll see your operating system show you files to pick. Pick a file you wish to add, use the open button and it will immediately upload to the file cabinet page. The page refreshes and you can see the uploaded file. If you upload the same file again it gets uploaded and added to the page as a new version. So adding the, the same file again you'll see that the version will then change to version 2. You can use this link to look at previous versions of the file. You can also upload multiple files to the page all at once. Choose the first file you wish to add and then choose the last file by holding shift on the keyboard and if you want to get rid of individual files or add in individual files you can use the control key on the keyboard or the command key on a Mac to separate a different list of files. Again use the open button and Google Sites will queue each file for upload and each file gets uploaded and added to the page. Again, once you've finished upload, the page refreshes and you can see all your files. Let's look at how we can organise our files into folders. We can select the files we want in a folder. In this example, I'll select them all. And once you've selected them, you can use the Move To button and choose a new folder. Give the folder a name and as you can see these files now sit in this folder. We can collapse the folder so that it hides the files. Finally let's have a look at how we can sort files and collapse the folder by default. Now I've got my folder on the page, if I refresh this page the folder will be open and you can see all the files. But obviously if you have a lot of files and a lot of folders on the page it might be handy if you can collapse all the folders by default. Also you might wish to sort how to see these files. You might want to sort by size, you might want to sort by name, you might want to sort by who uploaded or when the file was uploaded. Use the more button and go to page settings. You have two extra options on a file cabinet page. You can clap folders by default and you can show column headings. By showing column headings this allows you to sort. Use the save button. Again the page will reload. As you can see now the folder is collapsed by default and we now have column headings. If I expand the folder and I choose to order by size I get the lowest first, if I want the highest first just use that column again and we get the, the largest file first. Again we can change by time but they're all uploaded at the same time. Thank you for watching, we hope this has been useful and you can find more videos at steagle.com.